Hey everybody out there on the internet, welcome again to another edition of Direct to Riff, the most creatively bankrupt section of the entire channel, where I watch something that's a throwback to, um, you know, sort of nostalgic 90s, 80s, whatever, uh, stuff, and I do initial reactions to it, because that's still a thing on YouTube, for reasons that escape me. And today we are doing a uh, video from 1991, uh, starring the Kool-Aid Man, if you remember that mascot. I do my best every day to forget about him, but he still comes up every once in a while. And this is known as the Cooley, Cooley Man. Kool-Aid Man in Wacky Zany Video. So, sure, whatever you got. Let's find out. Just hit the stupid thing right now. Oh, that's right. That was a whole thing with the, 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 the thrill of Roger Rabbit and the way it was animated kind of made this style of over-exaggeration like a big thing. And this is some very early CG, so it's um, really out there. But again, 90s um, bright colors is, oh my lord, why? Yes, now the earth runs red with blood. Yeah, that wind blowing, that's appropriate. KB has association with this? Why? They need to switch out that one P for another E so it's sleeping. Okay. T minus ten seconds. Nine. Oh yeah, yo. Okay, okay, this is really good animation, but see, okay, what I see what they're doing already. So this is from Superman, the nineteen uh, late nineteen thirties. So it looks like they're gonna mix. Yep, they're gonna mix a lot of hello. Is that a my champ? Uh, so I see what they're doing. They're gonna mix. Oh my God, he's flying! It's everything that freaks me out. Oh, even better! Now he's rapping. So this is just gonna be a mix of uh, some Kool Aid stuff with a lot of public domain footage they can work with. Uh, so that's what uh. Yeah, like that's a Bugs Bunny short. Um, that I distinctly remember. Because they used to have they used to have a lot of these videos like in the early 80s that were you know, because they were in the public domain you could do so let's get started I've got a lot of fun um, to show you things that they would put out on video just because it was public domain you didn't have to pay anything for you if you just had it you could do it so grab a glass of Kool Aid we'll be back right after this. So man, I have a commercial within a 30 minute long commercial? Hedgehogs! Hedgehogs. They're everywhere you look. Especially ones named Sonic. They're in your dining room. You try to get rid of them yourself, but you're an amateur. They're just too quick for you, aren't they? What yeah, do do? Sonic is the fastest thing alive. What of it? You can beg for mercy, or you can call the trained professionals who have devoted their lives to tracking down these pesky hedgehogs, fearlessly following their escape routes, no matter how perilous to their own life and limb. 
and then safely relocating them to where they won't bother you and your lovely home. What, the Sega Genesis? Yes, you want the experts at Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway. Oh, so he just pulls out the gun and starts shooting. That's American. Hedgehog relocators employ the latest in laser technology to temporarily and humanely incapacitate these beasts so for the bullet to the brain. To Hedgehog Island off the coast of Guam. No job is too small, no hedgehog too large for your friends at Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway, located on that deserted road just outside of town. If you've got a hedgehog problem, and who doesn't, call Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway. Like, hedgehog I'm glad that they're still, name. you know, making use of this stuff. Of a hundred million nights, from um, but, millions of oh, this is some away. weird... I mean, they're not, they're not lying. This is some wacky, zany stuff. Boys and girls, I come from the planet Lip Sync. I'm sure you'd all like to know something about our new entertainment miracle, Lip Misreading. How it works, does it work? Oh, great. This is going to be like well, YouTube Lip Sync videos. The best way videos. I can describe it to you is to tell you that we make our lips absolutely weird and contrived. Adverbs, pronouns, adjectives. So you believe you can read our lips even though we are saying something else. Oh, amazing. Oh, dear God. I want to play it looks like John with Cena without, like, any definition. Although I'm 50 zillion miles from your home, I can clearly predict just where you will and will not land when you move on this board. Hey, come close to the TV. Wow, really? <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you. Nine items, nine boxes. Look them over carefully. What By on the earth? Game, I predict that you no wonder kids have ADHD nowadays. This is what they grew up with. Course, I have a headache. Know which one that is already, but why don't you just play along, okay? I want you to point. Why do you have Tom Servo in the middle? One of the nine boxes. Your choice. When I say go, I want you to spell out the name written in the box you chose, and move your finger from box to box in any order you like. Oh, one don't tell me this is one of those This is one of those mathematical letters. things. You can move up and down. You can move left and right. Where everybody's going to land on Kool-Aid. Like I already know that's what's going to happen. I know you're confused. It's got to be tried and experienced. Let's say you start on the box marked school. Because that's what every kid likes. School, but there you go. There are six letters in the word school, so we're going to count six spaces. S-C-H-O-O-L. And you landed on homework. Now you notice I started counting on a box next to school, not on school itself. Very important. Oh, this is what I needed, a tutorial, like, like a, like a current-day video three, game. Four, five, six, and you land on burger. You know, something that has some nutritional value on this screen. Because, you know, clearly homework has no nutritional value. But to make sure you count the exact number of letters in whatever box you start on. And no diagonal lines. So that's enough of an explanation. Let's get on with the game. I'm glad they got Balky to voice over this. one of the nine items. Point your finger at it. No! Now, spell out the name in the box. That's too hard. I never learned how to spell anything and have a doctorate. Go. You could have picked better music for this section, but all right. All right. I'm getting a mental picture. I really wish you didn't, because it's probably lewd. did not land on the box Mark. Pizza, did you? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. Then we'll just take it away. Now, you cannot move onto that one again. Now, wherever you are on the board, I want so, you to count. So, I know, like I said, I know what they're doing. This is, this is a common trick that they do with, in, with, with, mat, with numbers to give the illusion like everybody's eventually going to be here or everyone's going to be here. And so, this is something wait, similar. Wait, like, I'm not I playing this game, but I'm pretty sure everybody I'm going landed. to eliminate two boxes. I'm going to take away your music. So I might as well take away dancing too. <laughs> That's what you'll get for not landing on them. 
Next, living hell, dude. You and, and the thing, now, I'm, I'm still wondering, like, what was the purpose of this video? I mean, KB sponsored it. And it's all about Kool Aid. Like it's it's like who does this benefit? Like how did this get dispersed? Because I don't really see any kind of mutual under like I don't understand what the whole like I don't who is this for? Like, I, yeah, I get it. You're going to entertain kids, and this is like some sort of weird, elaborate, half-hour-long thing to get kids to drink Kool-Aid, I guess. Oh, yeah, you're going to land in Kool-Aid. It's crystal light with different packaging. No, I'm not doing any of that. You've already bored me to tears. If you've never seen anything before in your life, like you've been blind your entire existence and now all of a sudden you see this um that's impossible that's a uh, street with trees and human beings that cannot possibly be oh dear god please don't tell me that's Dom DeLuise no, uh, I can't be. He's a little bit skinnier. But it looks like Dom. Is he really that desperate to work in anything? Ah, uh, you should yell at the kid to actually do the thing for you because you can get multiple copies out. Really? David Lee Roth, huh? Nice. Oh boy. This is this is. I really wish you weren't. I, I, wow. Like, it's like legitimately. This is like legitimately. Ooh, that was some lovely CG. Oh, really? Hey, Wilmer. You know, like run for Congress. Um, because that's a thing. Well, whatever it is, it's going to involve the death of the both of them. Uh-huh. Yep. Total understanding. Uh-huh. Fling him. Just fling him. You know, we would say he's actually, you know, up in the air, but we're just rocking the plane back and forth. Uh, 
Um, what? To Harpo and Groucho? Okay, that was kind of funny. I'll give you that one. You got one sort of chuckle out of me. Who, who wrote all of this? I, I legitimately think It is dumb. I can't believe. Uh oh, here comes T1000. You're screwed, bud. No, oh, please don't mix it in Police Academy with this. So. You legitimately paid Dom DeLuise to be a part of a half hour long Kool-Aid commercial. Do you want to be high on some shit like me? What the living shit is this? Yes, because that's what kids need to do. Drink the sugar water and then work out. Oh my god, this is just... This is just so bonkers. Like, you literally have no time to react to anything. It's just boom, boom, boom. Like, that's, I feel like that monkey. Yeah, like, that, 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 that chicken that got up, that's part of, I think it was called Wild Hair. It's, like, these two guys who land on a deserted island and they find Bugs Bunny. You know they're not going to show Bugs Bunny, even though they actually could do it. Oh, hey, an English sheepdog, just like my, uh, that was my first dog. Oh, God, now we're going to get dog puns? That's exactly what I need. Curly, no! Beowulf. Uh, I think the people that wrote this are a little bit injured. Really? What the living fuck is this? I really wish you wouldn't do this. Oh no, is this going to be another one of those little guessing things? Got it? Okay. Good. Now, you multiply your number. So you're always going to get the same answer. You don't have to do this in your head. You can use pencil and paper if you want to. I mean, if you've got nothing going on in your life, sure, go along with this game. I'm just a dog. I only have about 10 years to live, so whatever. My God. We've gone from like 
hyperactive, constantly hitting me with like all this stuff to now like slow, dull, and boring. That is impressive that you have managed to do that. Yes. Be if you really want to do this again, you could, but you know, just move on with your life. Understand that Kool Aid owns you, and every time you take a sip, it kills some of your sperm count. Just look at me and how I'm sitting here at this chair with the dog. Really? That is a thing that he should be arrested for. The amount of property damage that the Kool-Aid man has been a part of is dis disturbing. And he was riding roller skates on rollerblades on that one. Whoa! Whoa! You don't want to repeat that out in public. Yeah, that's a little scary. And why would you want to drink anything that he has? Because you know it's all fallen into his bowl body. Why? No. You should just call the authorities and have them take care of the issue. Now why are we doing it this way? Why do I need a recap? So why did I have to go through that recap again? Dom, why did you have to go down this route? Did you need cocaine that bad this day? Uh, it's fine. Just pull it out, dude. The paper and your arm. That's appropriate. Just pull out the billy clubs and take care of the problem. Um. Ooh, someone actually likes Marvin? That was a terrible, uh, comic strip. What is so interesting about a fat baby? You're out of order, lady. Where's the beef? Those people sitting there are like, did they actually pay a license to film out here? Because this is sad. Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing to actually see those things nowadays. Don't really see newsstands out. Oh dear God. Really? Okay, that's interesting stop motion stuff. I, I at least admire the ingenuity here, to a point. Um, although I'm really starting to question a lot of things. Um, 
Devo? Oh, I haven't the slightest idea what the fuck. You know, if I grew up doing more drugs, maybe this would make total sense to me now. It's like watching the village people and Devo acting a fool. Okay, that was neat. Really? Okay. I literally have no idea. This is... Okay, so it's kind of awesome, but also sort of batshit insane. Like, I literally ha Okay, so you killed men. That's good. Uh, and you did it with the police right there. I really, really have no idea what's going on. Eh, you better luck just sitting there. I mean, you've just, you know, got five counts of homicide on you. Or at least manslaughter. Or not. Oh no! No, it's not. It's made me really question a lot of my life decisions, like why in God's green earth did I think it was a good idea to watch this, because clearly what the living fuck is that? Uh, alright, that's kind of fun. No, please, dear God. This is like... Like, almost like a weird... Like, this is such a precursor to what you would see on the internet. Really? Okay, well, at least I can deal with this stuff. So I've got puppets who want to play with toys. Thank you for that transition, because that felt totally natural. What in God's green earth? And I look like I know those puppets, but I, they're, they're just there. I don't know them. I am so... So perplexed by what I just watched. I mean, I, I again, just as like I reiterated from the beginning, what, what did any of this have to do with anything? Who, what purpose does this serve? I'm. I, wacky and zany is right. I just. I kind of feel like I was trolled. I don't... I don't know. I, I literally don't know. I'm... <sighs> My head hurts. So... Okay. That was a thing I just did. There's a half hour of your life and mine that you're not getting back, so congratulations there. Um, so, until next time, party people, toodles!